was going to actually be happening. I mean, Nasi yeah. is Nasi <laughs> everywhere in For Africa, sure. around For the sure. world. So when that was happening, how did you feel when you got that? You know, his voice and everything. Yeah, I mean, like I've always had uh, like dreams of just like you know having a song with Nasi since we be from like the same area in South Africa, like the same province or state. You'd say state. Okay. So <laughs> it's like. I, I've always seen it happening, so I wasn't really like super surprised or anything. Mm. But I was like glad that it happened so quickly because it was just like a few months after seeing him. Like I sneaked into one of like his rehearsals from you sneaked like in? from <laughs> his from, he was doing the the Iverson tour and it was in you know his home and like I stayed closer to to where the show was happening. Okay. So I heard like music and stuff and I was like nah we're gonna go there like I went with my friends and stuff like that and I didn't really know what's going on so he wasn't really you know mm-hmm. happy about it at the time but then yeah and I've told him that story a few times and he's like yeah I didn't know <laughs> but yeah a few months after that like I, I like that night I felt like nah this is truly gonna happen because I'm already here like there's no way right. this thing is not gonna happen and then happen like a few months later so it's okay. crazy. Mm. All right. So, I mean, there's still so much more to talk about. I mean, this album before now, I listened to a bit of it and then it's so sick. I like the collaborations and everything. But what else is in store for us? You know, we blacky fans. You yeah. Know, I'm already a fan. Especially us in Nigeria. <laughs> for sure. Right. Um, yeah, that's that's what the whole trip is about. Basically, I'm trying to expand. Um, right. I'm trying to build like a, a, a strong brand for myself. But then right. most importantly, like I'm trying to give people a better... Like, I'm trying to give them more. Like, since the whole Big Time Slapper thing happened with, like, the video, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, now we need to do, like, more videos. And then after that, it's like, okay, the videos are there, but we need to make them more cinematic. We need to make them more crazy. Right. So it's always just, like, leveling up. And, and I think, yeah, that's that's definitely what I'm trying to do for leveling the rest up, of the mm-hmm. like Okay, that. so yeah. we have a quick game to play with you. But before we do that, how difficult is it? No, no <laughs> nothing serious, nothing serious. <laughs> nothing div- the Nigerian in you somehow came out. That's <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> What's in this up now? Okay. <laughs> But how difficult is it to stand? I mean, we're talking about this off air, right? How Mm. difficult is it to stand? Because in Nigeria, we talk about how it's not so easy to be a rapper here or even just a vocalist, being being an R&B singer here. And I know that that's somewhat true in SA. I mean, we know there are piano vibes everywhere. I mean, also here in Nigeria. I mean, your vibe, you're doing rap, and then your rap is really chill. Yeah. So how how easy is it, or how do you get to stand out, you know? Yeah. And do you think that that is what just makes people draw draw people to you the fact that you're doing Mm. something pretty different um yeah like when when i started out like the sound like that's why i appreciate soundcloud so much because the people there appreciate like different types of music and stuff like that Mm -hmm. you can be making like lo-fi afro like just mixing different sounds and that's what that's what people are there on soundcloud for so if you're there for like a long time and you actually interact with those type of people like you build like a little cult Mm -hmm. following and then by the time you're trying to take it further you already have people and it's not like you're starting from scratch mm. so i feel like yeah that's like a that's like a major key that people don't really realize like in south africa because soundcloud is not a big thing and that's why like you know if you're an r&b artist in south africa i don't i don't even think you're gigging you're not you're not really doing much wow. you know yeah. what i mean you're just dropping your songs and you know your videos but you're not really I don't know. You can't really perform. People don't really relate with that type of sound. Yeah. Like right now, people are relating to I'm a piano. So if you don't have those people to vouch for you in those type of places, like you can't, you can't really do anything. Mm. Do you see yourself, you know, jumping on an I'm a piano beat? Or is there something there for us? Yeah, there is. There is already. Um, Young Stunner. Young okay. Stunner just dropped his his debut album. He's a crazy guy. I think one of the best in South Africa right now. Number one album in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, I'm on that twice all yeah. right twice i like yeah. it so let's go to the <laughs> game before we let lucky go okay so we're not asking you to do anything crazy we just need to learn some you know south african slangs so african you teach slang. us two and then we teach you two okay cool. but it seems like you already have a hang of it because you said no no, no. The i only know it's in the soap <laughs> i only know how far now that's all okay. i mean that's that i mean that's good enough <laughs> so which slangs have you heard in nigeria that has stopped that has stuck yeah i've only learned those two and then a little bit of of thing of yoruba only not oh. really slang yeah. do you want to say anything okay. for, with yoruba for us anything what do you are you yes yeah, oh is. i know uh you say hello baoni baoni how okay. are you you know okay. say Ma okay <laughs> Ma okay dada <laughs> I, like I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right, so teach us something. Teach us two South African slangs and wha- South tell us African what it means. Yeah. Um, danko. 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 You also learn danko. Danko means thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay, yeah. I like it. 
But that sounds like just. Yeah, but then if you that's the slang. So if you say it in South Africa like that, then people mm. know that you. Like right. you, you okay. know, Danko. 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 Um, what's another one? I think the next one is like pretty, pretty difficult ch- one. Should it be a difficult one? Yeah. Yeah, let's hear it. We'll try our best. Let's we'll try. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no. You must. You must. You must learn. Um, it's not a difficult one. You just say. Ah, actually, no. It must be in a in a language so that they can. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like what, what I'm is trying funny? to yeah I'm trying to think to of, I'm trying to think of something something easy something that's it oh yeah you can say it's teeny it's teeny teeny yeah it's teen teen is it teeny teeny is it teeny not easy teeny starts with a with a z so, so it's teen teeny yeah it's teeny what, what does, does it mean? mean it means what's up what's, what's up same what's thing like what's in this up now yeah what's what's it's teeny <laughs> Black is the teeny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, down cold. Yeah. Down cold. Yeah. Teeny. Yeah. We're good. I like, I like We're from South say. Africa, man. Okay, now it's about time to <laughs> teach you. <laughs> Some slangs. I feel like you should have heard this one. Who they breathe? Who they breathe? Yeah. Nah. Like, like who I is heard it. the English is who is breathing, right? But it's who they breathe. Who they say who they who they <laughs> who they breathe? <laughs> who they breathe? So why does she say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> who they breathe? So like, it's actually from David right? right? Yeah. You know David right? sort of created that who they breathe. What does it? How mean? many things did the David create? Man, like he has so many. David O creates so many. <laughs> Didn't he <laughs> come with the choke thing? Yeah, also? He yeah choke. he choke. Yeah, that's one of them too. That's <laughs> mad. Like he's he's <laughs> so a trendsetter. It's like, it's like who Definitely. can do who can do it better? Oh, it's like hyping yourself up. Let's oh, say you look nice or something, or you okay, achieve cool. something. You're like, who they breathe? Who they like, who breathe? Can, who, yes. who, oh, who they breathe? Or like after listening to the before now album, who they breathe? Who, who they, they breathe? breathe. <laughs> 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 I, wait, I like that one. Okay, okay so, so one we have more. another one. Mm-hmm. OTJ breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like you just broke up or something. Yeah, I like it. You're in touch. <laughs> yeah, okay, it. okay. <laughs> How did you learn that one though? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jab break fast? Go <laughs> jab break fast. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming through. This was such a great time. So tell your people out here in Nigeria where they can find you, find mm. your music, and why mm-hmm. they should stick with Blackie. Because I, I know that you're going to be you are in this for the long haul. So yeah, how can sure. they stick with you, find your music, and you know follow you on social media as All well? All right, cool. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Blackie Somnyama, the man, the hottest, the greatest. Um, having a good time out in Niger. Appreciate all the people. Appreciate all the support. Just carry on doing that. Uh, follow me at BLXCKIE, so Black E with the A as an X. Got a lot of music coming out for some of your favorites, you know what I'm saying? Some of my favorites. And yeah, let's just have a good time. Follow me. All, All right. right. Thank you so much for coming through, Black E. We're still right here on the Midday Rally. Do not go any.